Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding gameplay analysis part 3 and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Ok, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called activity with 4 different columns. Player ID, device ID, event date and games played and these are the data types. The combined columns player ID and event date is the primary key of this table. This table shows the activity of players of some games. Each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games and he or she can play like zero games as well. So logged in and logged out before log logging out on some day using some device. We are asked to write a SQL query to report for each player and date how many games played so far by the player so so far basically is calculate running total right so that is total number of games played by the player until that date so very classic case of using window function uh, check the example for clar clarity yeah so i we will be going to uh, through the example the order of the result doesn't matter okay so let's go through this example right so for example there are you know different data points that are given so there are two players right player id 1 and player id 3 so player id 1 on 1st of march 2016 5 2nd of may 2016 and 25th of june 2017 right so games played so far is 5 and then 5 plus 6 11 and then 5 plus 6 plus 1 that is 12 Right. Similarly for player ID 3, 0 and then 0 plus 5 is 5 and that is what we are returning. Right. So again, very classic case of using window functions, you creating partitions by player ID and then order by your event date in, in uh, increasing order because you need to calculate running total that is games played so far and then uh, you sum the games played. Right. So let's go ahead and develop this query. So from this table called activity right what do we need to do is we are we need to have an output player id event date and a third column which will be which we will be generating using window function right so select the player id or when we are returning the player id we are returning the event date and the third column is by using a window function right so since we are using a window function we write the over clause for every window function we write an over clause so over and then we create partitions so partition by what player id so it will create partition and then we need to arrange in that particular partitions in ascending order of event date so order by event date and then what do we need to do once we have ordered right so let me just copy this like to quickly explain what is happening um let me just drag it here yeah so since player id one uh so the first thing will be partitions will be created so player id one so this is one partition and this is another partition then it will be ordered by event date so if here if you see like first march 2016 second may 2016 and then 25th of june 2017 so ordered in ascending order similarly for this as well now based on this we need to calculate the rolling sum right so sum so sum from the games played column right so now one thing to keep in mind here is that when we do this so for each of the partition right so for this entire partition it will calculate the sum of games played right because like after we create a partition order by the event date then if we just uh, you know end our query at this point that calculate the sum from the games played then it is you know cal will calculate the sum of entire things so 5 plus 6 plus 1 that is 12 and then it will return 12 12 12 here similarly 5 and 5 here we don't need that we need running total right so we need to tell the cursor or we need to tell sql that hey start from your starting point and then wherever your current row is you need to end there right so start from like unbounded preceding current row for the first uh, you know row would be 5 right so 
and so nothing above this so five then cursor goes to round two right so row two so now you started from the very beginning so there is only one row before this so five plus six your current cursor is at the second row right so 11 so that is how uh, running totals are calculated so you need to include that sliding frame right so rows between unbounded preceding and current row and now your final output should have the alias of the column as games played so far so as games played so far so let me just remove this let's go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output we let's go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we solve this right so again very simple very basic use of window functions always remember that why did we do this rows between because we need to calculate running total not the overall total of particular partition and yeah so this is how we do it hopefully this video is useful to uh, to you and let me know guys if this video was useful if there is any other way to do this or a better efficient way to do this let me know and until then i will see you guys in the next video